new holidays matt here and today i'm going to be taking a look at one of the newer not brand new but newer discs from lone star the tombstone i have one in alpha plastic it's uh 173 grams and though mine does not have numbers on it lone star gives us the numbers of 13404 so that puts it in the realm of very overstable drivers like the spirit uh, stiletto, Nuke OS, Ape, things that are really fast and uh, maybe not the most glidey, but I believe Nico's throwing one of these a, a lot right now and I want to give it a shot. So I actually threw a pretty good bit on a very windy day a little bit ago where you get to see it test out uh, in a headwind a pretty good bit. Then also took it out on the course at Deerfield, give it a few throws out there to see how um, it fared on some of those lines. Actually, not a ton of holes where I would naturally use a really super overstable forehand driver like that. Uh, but I found a few where it made it work. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's check it out. So I'm starting out in the field just doing like a stock tiny Anheuser shot. Rides through that headwind pretty good and bucks out pretty nicely. On this one, on the Heiser, it catches a ton of wind, pushes it straight up. Still goes about 300 feet, but ends up way right on the tailwind side now give it a nice flex it rides that tailwind really well ends up about 415 nice heavy fade at the end on the course at Deerfield here this is number four it's 390 feet not traditional to do a forehand here but I ride that line over on the left side gets just to the edge of circle two and hits that branch so not bad on five here i'm going with this really wide anheuser it probably would have been near part but it clips that late branch on 11 i'm trying this low skip shot and it actually works out really well it gets a nice flare skip and hits a tree at circle's edge this one i'm trying to pump it through that gap and it hits this tiny branch i didn't even see but it looked like it was going to be pretty good Big flex off the tee here on 18. It's about a 550 foot shot I'm looking for. Gets down there through the gap really well and just barely goes out of bounds. On 19, I took this one a little bit too low, but it still gets over there across the OB and inbounds. So as you can see, I had a, uh, not as many great throws with it as I would have liked, but mainly that was hitting late trees on the course and dealing with some pretty tough conditions. I do like it. It feels really nice. It's very blunt but uh has a slight shoulder but no dome feels really good feels great on a forehand grip um it's a little deep for my backhand grip but for people who really like a overstable backhand distance driver like nico where they do some backhand flexes and let it anheuser out things like that i think it'll be a really good option um i think it's got pretty true to the numbers uh it it's not quite as relentless to those numbers as some discs. I feel like it it penetrates really well before it bucks out and has that hard skippy fade. It's not quite as overstable as a Spirit or a um, an Adder, but it's in the ballpark and definitely as overstable as like your Enforcer 8 type disc, but not as glidey as some of those type of discs are. So overall, really liked it. Very cool stamp. Good job to the team at Lone Star. And I think a lot of the pro players will probably be bagging this one this year. Have a great night, everybody.